In this video you will learn in 3 minutes the basics of the SMD code for resistors. SMD stands for surface mount device. We will take a look at two popular coding systems. The 3 and 4 digit system and the EIA 96 system. Let's take an example of a 3 digit code. The first two digits represent the significant values of the resistance. The third digit represents a power of 10 multiply factor. The resistance value is therefore 31 times 10 to the power of 2, which leads to 3100 ohms. Now we consider a 4 digit code. Here the first three digits represent the significant values of the resistance. This code is used for more accurate resistors. The 4 digit is the multiply factor. For this example, the resistance is 792 times 10 to the power of 0, which results in 792 ohms. Now we will solve 4 examples which are a bit different. The first one has only a 0 and represents a so-called 0 ohm resistor with no resistance. This resistor has the letter R as first digit. The R represents a decimal. So this resistor has a value of 0 0.382 ohms. The third example has the R or decimal between the 2 and the 3, which means a value of 2.3 ohms. Due to space constraints, sometimes the numbers are underlined instead of using an R. So this resistor has a value of 0 0.068 ohms. Remember that often is deviated from these systems, therefore it's always a good practice to check the manufacturer's datasheet. Now we take a look at another popular coding method, the EIA96 system. This system is based on the E96 series of preferred values, so these resistors should have an accuracy of 1%. The first two digits represent the code that is used with a table to find the resistance value with three digits. The third number also represents a code to retrieve the multiply factor. Let's solve this particular example. By looking up 38 in table 1, we find a value of 243. In table 2, we find that the letter C means a multiply factor of 100. This resistor has therefore a value of 24.3 kilo ohms. These were the most used SMD codes. To find the tables, or more information on resistor codes and standards, please visit resistorguide.com.